Well, welcome back, Pine Belt. Another back to school, back to work morning out there after uh, an election Tuesday, which uh, many of you getting out and doing the civic duty. Always good. No weather related reason yesterday not to do that. No we real weather related reason not to enjoy today out there uh, as things get a little bit warmer, a little bit more cloudy, a little bit more humid. Uh, and outside of a stray sprinkle or shower, I would say that's pretty much all that changes. And even that's on the lower end of things. Uh, I'd had it at about 10% at times earlier on in the week, but uh, really that a kind of amount of rain that we are expecting to see today or even potentially see, it's not a guarantee, uh, is the kind that it's almost even hard to put like a, a chance for, for the day because uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. But right now we have nothing to worry about. I expected we'd see some patchy fog in the area. We still have a chance as things cool about another degree or so if they do here in the next 30 minutes uh, to 45 minutes because then the sun's up and we'll start going the other direction. We'll see it more of it, more of it in the days ahead, but I did expect we'd see at least some today. Just a bit too warm for that, but still looking pretty good there at Sumrall, uh, in Sumrall. As we take a look out here in Laurel at Laurel Ford, you can see that kind of haziness around the bright lights. Again, not enough to really give us a fog or visibility issues or anything, but noticeable that uh, there is some moisture in the air capturing that light diffusing it around not enough to really lead us to any uh, of those uh, issues we sometimes run into when these fronts are moving in and we get that big surge of moisture so we're getting it it's just uh, kind of just starting now and in the days ahead we'll get more of it and that's why our mornings will go from you know yesterday where we still had some mid 30s showing up so today, low 50s to pretty much where our high was on Monday is where our mornings will be as we head into tomorrow morning, Friday morning, and the weekend. So today, though, starting in the 50s, working our way up into the 70s, I expect even upper 70s possible. I believe I went with 77 for my uh, high temperature for today for Hattiesburg, and that's despite building cloud cover. And again, the not impossible chance of a stray sprinkle. Now, again, these are hourly chances here. And the computer giving them, if I had to put numbers to them, I'd say 5 to 10%. Uh, this one going a little bit, uh, been a little bit excited about it. That's okay. Uh, that's what they do. They, they do uh, rain forecasts there with the raw numbers. And uh, you just kind of got to look at them and take them with the, the grain of salt that they, that they often are right now. Because if you look at the radar, it looks like it's currently raining off towards the southwest of us. So I would say that's just the moisture building in the clouds. But it's not impossible. And you see later on today, we could see a, a, a short-lived shower or a sprinkle. I, again, not worth planning your day around. Uh, as it quickly passes through between about lunchtime to four to five o'clock. After that's done, that's pretty much it. And again, we'll have to wait for more organized rain to start showing up as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. That's when the rain really begins. And once it starts, we could be stuck with it for a few days with Friday and Sunday shaping up to be our rainiest days. I mentioned Saturday was kind of looking a little bit thin. Uh, it looks like we're in between those two little waves there. So we'll be watching that pass through. Not as much of a severe risk as it looked like we had with this kind of pattern last week. I do believe we'll end up with at least a level one risk for Friday. We'll keep an eye on it, but right now it's not shaping up to be particularly concerning in that regard. But there is enough moisture to bring the cloud cover and even those sprinkles, as we said, though more organized rain shows up as early as tomorrow evening. It's really going to be that Friday. Then we get that thinning in between the two rounds coming back as we head into Sunday there. And that's when we can see finally the cooler, drier air starting to come in. So until that time, we keep warming, especially our mornings here as we approach Friday. Then the cloud cover and the rain will keep us on the cooler side by a couple of degrees. But cooler, drier air doesn't show up until next week. But that will have us back into the 30s and uh, some below average highs moving in after that.